Okay, hello again guys, and no, you're not going crazy, I have uploaded this video before. Uh, sadly, I just realised that when I rendered the final video file, two minutes of me explaining the script had actually gone missing. Uh, I went to re-render it, but it turns out I must have stopped recording early in OBS, so I've had to redo the entire video. So I apologise for that, and this time I promise I will prove watch it before I upload. Uh, but if this is your first time watching, however, let me just uh, briefly explain the video. Uh, what we're covering today is some basic bash scripting, with the goal being a no-touch script to fully install Arch Linux from start to finish, with no prompts for any information. It actually works pretty well. So here's the script that I've uh, come up with. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, uh, I'll put a link to my GitHub in the description uh, below for you. Right, so let's quickly walk through the script and let me explain the magic to you. Okay, so starting from the top, we've got a debug command. It's currently commenting out. If you find it, that you're running it on your machine but it's not working properly, uncomment this to see the debug information. Next, we check if the user ID is equal to zero because we need to be root to run the script. It should be if you're running this from the Arch ISO anyway. Next, anything that I could think of in my Arch install that I could make into a variable, I've made into a variable. So we've got the target disk, and we've got the mount destination, we've got the locale settings, the key map, time zone, host name. Uh, the username, and we've also got a, a SHA-512 hash of the password. You can generate this yourself by running mkpassword-m SHA-512 and remember to prefix any uh, dollar signs with a backslash. Let's see how I've done it here. Yeah. Okay. And next, uh, I've not found a good, an easy way, or should I say an elegant way, to pass a password into crypt setup. It's not a good idea, obviously, to keep passwords stored in plain text, but if you do want a fully automated setup, just change bad idea to yes, and then put in a plain text password here for your disk encryption. And if you do know a better way of doing this, guys, please let me know in the comments below. So next, we've got two arrays. The first one is just the packstrap uh, packages that we're gonna install when we packstrap the base system. And the next ones are for our desktop environment. In this case, I'm just gonna install XFC for in my uh, script on GitHub, it uses Plasma. I'm just using XSV4, so it'll be quicker to install for the video. Okay, so next we're gonna use sgdisk to set up the disk. The dash big Z zaps the disk, so it clears out any existing partition tables. Next, we use uh, sgdisk again. We create our 512 megabyte uh, EFI system partition at the start of the disk. Then we use the rest of the disk. That's uh, denoted by the big N to create a Linux root partition. Sleep for two seconds, then we part probe it just to re uh, reload it in the kernel. And then we come down to the uh, encryption. If bad idea is equal to yes, it'll pass in this password which we set, er uh, set earlier into uh, crypt setup. Uh, if you didn't set the password, then it will just prompt you for a password. After that, it will open up, uh, it will format it, and then it will open it up and then it will format the partitions using VFAT, FAT32 for the EFI partition and XTEN4 for the root partition. Then it's gonna root them. It's gonna create the EFI uh, folder and it's gonna mount the EFI partition. And then we're gonna pack, uh, update the Pac-Man mirrors and then it's gonna pack strap and it's gonna load in the array, which we said earlier, pack strap packs array to all those applications there. Wait, wait. Next, it's going to set whatever we set as the locale. It's going to uh, uncomment that in locale.gen. Then it's going to remove any existing config files which may have been patch strapped over. And then it's going to run systemd first boot, which is going to pass in all these variables here into uh, systemd first boot. Okay, and then it's going to run locale.gen. It's going to add our user and on our, add our user password, the SHA-512 hash of our user password. Next, it'll uncomment the wheel group in sudoers. Then it's going to uh, echo quiet and rewrite into the kernel command line. We're using discoverable partitions for this setup, but it does. Uh, if you don't have a kernel command line, uh, mk init cpio will complain. Next, it makes some changes to the mk init cpio.conf file. Uh, it changes it to use systemd instead of udev and uh, key map and console font. Coming down, it then uh, changes the linux.preset file to generate uh, unified kernel images. Then it creates uh, the UKI folder structure. And then it will store our desktop environment packages, all these ones here on the GUI packs. Okay, where are we? 
Okay, next, it enables all, all our startup services. It masks off systemd network D because we're using network manager. And it generates our unified kernel images. And it checks if secure boot is in setup mode by reading this EFI variable. If it is in setup mode, then it'll create secure boot keys, roll them, and then it'll sign our bootloader and our unified kernel images. Next, it'll install the bootloader, lock out the root account, and then it's done. And then it'll reboot. Okay, so that's a lot of bold claims, so I suppose you uh, guys will want to all see if it works. So let's bring up this virtual machine that I've set up. I've downloaded the script already, and the only things that I've changed into it is that I've made bad idea equals yes. I'm going to give it a crypt password, of just DT, something nice and easy to remember. And I've changed the uh, GUI packs from the GitHub to use XFCE4, just so it's uh, quicker to install for this video. Okay, so let's run it. So bash install.sh and here we go And there we have it guys, completely no touch from start to finish. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you'd like to try this for yourself, please check out my GitHub. The script will be in there, the link will be in the description below. And I promise I will edit this properly and I will prove watch it this time. Okay, until the next video guys, have a good one. Bye bye.